up Shiggity's Creek without a paddle. So they had to spend more money to go get Carson Wentz. Got to spend money to get money. And then, of course, RG3 and Josh McCown up in Cleveland. Cleveland really, 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 really trying to knock nail this thing on the head with the quarterback. And how great would it be for RG3 to resurrect his career? I was saying to somebody a long time ago, I think RG3 could possibly have somewhat of a Randall Cunningham-esque type career if he were to go to Cleveland and resurrect his career. I mean, still on the plane. Look at uh, uh, look at um, Randall Cunningham. He was with Philadelphia at one point in time. Was a running quarterback. Tore his ACL. Messed his knee up. Ended up going to, um, ended up getting uh, traded or, or or getting picked up uh, by the Minnesota Vikings. Started to resurrect his career. Uh, became a better quarterback. Started throwing to Randy Moss and Chris Carter. Got them all the way to the NFC Championship. Lost to the Falcons, of course. But he resurrected his career in, a, in, in some form or fashion. So I would like to see if RG3 could do the same thing in Cleveland. So uh, who do I see coming out on top in all three of these categories? Cleveland, I think RG3 has, the, has what it takes to resurrect his career. He has the arm strength. He has the athleticism to do the same thing as well. So I think RG3 would be the better bet in Cleveland. I think, uh, And then on top of that, be that Josh Norman will be coming back four games into the season. I think Josh Norman reuniting with RG3 would be a great, a great, great thing for uh, Cleveland uh, to have these two guys on the same page. Philadelphia. Uh, I do see Sam Bradford possibly getting the start, you know, having the seniority start. But I think Sam Bradford will screw it up and uh, lose the position to Carson Wentz. Uh, it really is it's just a matter of time before Carson Wentz is the starting quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles. And in San Francisco, really, it's a toss up. I think both of these guys are equally as bad. Colin Kaepernick uh, had literally one year of excellence just one year or one flash of excellence after that, it just really just fell off. Blaine Gabbert, um, not necessarily sure. I think he was in Jacksonville before getting picked up by San Francisco, but it's really up in the air. I think those those two guys are just as bad. I think the um, San Francisco 49ers would definitely have to um, rely on their running game and possibly their defense to win some games this year. All right, what's next? Take the trip on down to Atlanta Falcons training camp, Alpha Male. Um... Despite the fact that Julio Jones is out until Tuesday, uh, of course Atlanta got rid of Devin Hester, Keanu Neal is running around knocking down every single Atlanta offensive player on site, Matt Ryan somehow feels that Atlanta can average 30 points per game this season. Alpha male, is Matt Ryan just blowing smoke up our asses, or is that something that can possibly happen? Uh, It's a team effort. I'll say that much. It is a team effort. It would definitely be a team effort in order for that to happen. Uh, of course, like Little Bighorn said, Keanu Neal is out there knocking folks out already. Uh, he made a very, very big hit uh, yesterday in Falcons training camp. I think they just put on pads. Um, but it'll have to be a very big team effort. It'll have to be a team effort on all parts in order for something like that to happen. Uh, I think the Atlanta Falcons offense would have to have the ball in their hand majority of the game. I think time of possession is a major key uh, for the Atlanta Falcons. I think if they have a good amount of time of possession or a long time of possession, I really feel as though uh, Atlanta could have the opportunity of doing that. Now, Atlanta, it's not an easy task. They got some big defenses coming up this year. You got the Raiders defense they got to play second game of the season. Panthers defense, fourth game of the season. Seattle Seahawks and the Broncos, fifth and sixth game of the season. Then... You go on and you play the Cardinals, you play the Chiefs, you guys got the the Rams in L.A., the Panthers again, and the Saints. So it would have to be a team effort. I mean, simple and plain, it would have to be a team effort. Now, on the offensive side, um, you have Mohamed Sanu, who is actually, you know, becoming a uh, – the way he looks in, tra- in Falcons training camp, a very big body. i never really seen the guy in person. Very tall. Very strong build, almost looks like a second. If you took the number eleven jersey and put it on Muhammad Sanu, he would look like uh, Julio Jones. In all honesty, so it's very good to see that you got good. You have two decent tight ends. You have two very good running backs. Um, you know, I think 
I don't necessarily I don't necessarily say that we're stacked at every position, but I think the Atlanta Falcons definitely have a good opportunity at um at just scoring at will if need be. And if somebody were to go down, I think the Falcons could be able to reload and add that up. But it would have to be a team effort. The defense would have to definitely deliver the ball to the Falcons uh, offense. They would have to almost give the ball get the ball every time on offense. How do you do that? Just creating uh, some form of presence uh, defensively. Like I said, rookie Keanu Neal definitely making his presence felt in Falcons training camp. But as far as the secondary is concerned, we got to be some ball hawks. They have to be some ball hawks, man. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know what time it is. It is me. He is I and I am him. I am he that they call the alpha male. Um, I've got to give you guys some uh, 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 just some love, man. Thank you for listening to today's show. Thank you for showing me love today, man. Definitely, guys. Thank you, Doug Stewart. Thank you to all the Stewies. Make sure that you guys go to my Instagram page and my Twitter page, Alpha Male Sports, all one word, A-L-P-H-A-M-A-L-E-S-P-O-R-T-S. Make sure that you guys show me some love, man. And definitely, man, hit the heart button. On the uh, on the Spreaker chat, make sure you hit the heart button and show your boy some love. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's me. He is I, and I am him. I am he that they call the Alpha Male. Peace. Bring them out. 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 Bring them out.